Hello. Can you hear me? Great. Um, so thanks for coming. Uh, my background is I've been an Ethereum developer for five years. Um, I'm you know exporting my brain on Twitter. Uh, author of PRB Math. So uh, who here uses PRB Math? Raise your hand. Just so I know how many friends I have in the audience. Okay, great. Cool. So like maybe a third if I'm optimistic. Um, nice to see the real humans besides the behind the NFT PFPs I see on GitHub and Twitter. Um, you know, I'm also co-founder of uh, Sablier. We're we're building infrastructure for token distribution, and our uh, latest protocol release, Sabre V3, uh, was 100% built, built with Foundry and um, the TASIC technique I will show you now, uh, which I call BTT uh, in short, which stands for uh, Branching Tree Technique. Um, the reason why um, I came up with this design is that I noticed some problems with Solidity testing, um, specifically with, with like Foundry-based pure Solidity uh, uh, tests. Um, and they are like undirected development. So people, so it, like developers don't have any particular direction they're going to. They just like, like add tests um, on top of each other. Um, then unstructured, like lack of structure, lack of categories, and vague or even outright missing um, plain English specifications for, for those tests. Uh, and like how it starts, um, for like a simple test in, 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 in Solidity, um, you have something like this. It's beautiful, it's fast, thanks to Foundry. But then, with time, you end up with this um, list of tests that have like test number one, test number two, and so forth, uh, typically in one monolith test contract. Um, and that is just difficult to keep track of, uh, difficult to maintain, um, and uh, most importantly, difficult to, um, to, to write, to like achieve high task coverage with with a, a, a monolith like this. The solution I have come with, with uh, is, is called BTT, and it's a simple specification framework for writing structured solidity tests, um, inspired by what is called, by Cucumber Gherkin, which is a web two testing um, specification framework. Uh, in terms of like comparison, so uh, I, I regard BTT as being entry level, but at the same time, moderately effective. Um, compared to Cucumber, um, which is more medium level because it has way more keywords and, and rules. Um, and then on the you know, advanced level, you have Sartora, K-Framework, TLA Plus, which are senior level, but you know, highly effective. What it actually means in practice is that you target a function, like one particular function, um, then you create these tree files, which I'll, I'll show you in a bit. Um, it, it's, it's basically using the ASCII uh, characters to create hierarchies of um, like nodes and, and like branches. And then you do the work of like thinking about all the possible execution paths. Um, you consider what contract states leads to what paths, because contract state storage influences what um, execution paths occur in the function at runtime. Then you think about what function parameters lead to what paths in the function. And finally, you define using natural language, um, uh, using given, when, and it, what should happen with a function. So basically a map, like a, literally an, an English map of your um, like solidity function. And now I will introduce Bullock, which is an open source project built by Alex Fertel, an open source developer. Um, it is a companion for, uh, for BTT code bases. Um, because it has two commands that uh, are super useful, and they're scaffold and check. Um, so you can start from your BTT tree, and then it will generate a skeleton solidity file with test functions, like names, the contracts, and a hierarchy that you can use as a base for like, writing your actual tests. And also, um, there's a VS Code extension called Solidity Inspector, built by Pranesh, which I, who I think is in the audience. So I, I, I want to give a shout out to him and Alex. Um, because these are the the the, the uh, first projects to um, you know provide uh, like a mini ecosystem of of like tools for using BTT in Solidity projects. Um, and the way you typically start is, as I said, you like you write the tree file, and then thanks to Bullock, what it can do is you can run scaffold and pass the tree file. By doing this, you will get this skeleton Solidity contract, and. Uh, 
Um, uh, now I'll show you an example. It's easier always w with an example. Um, this is how it actually looks. This is like a, the, the simplest possible tree. Um, you have a binary condition, when x is false or, or when x is true, and what should happen in, in either case. Um, this is nice because, as a matter of fact, like you can use, like you can share this with your like non-solidity team to get like an idea of like what's happening there. Useful for like front-end development and whatnot. Um, but once you have this, you use Bulo to target it, and then Bulo will generate this code for you. Um, and again, this is way easier than than uh, like starting from scratch. It gives you structure, it gives you context, and 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 so forth. Um, uh, but of course, Bulo will not write the actual test for you. We're not there yet. Um, uh, you will have to add the following code yourself, but you know, it's it's, it's like it like gives you this held hold like uh, it holds your hands basically while you're writing your your like your unit tests, um, and yeah, this is it for the first example. Um, a slightly more advanced example and is, is is when you have contract state influencing the the uh, execution of the function, and for for like state we use given to um, build a tree. So as you can see at the top, you have when the given value is less than 100, when the given value is not less than, uh, than 100. Typically, you will see binary um, uh, conditions, so when something is and when something is not. It doesn't necessarily have to be that way, um, but it's certainly helpful to like, cover all the branches if you use this approach. Um, and then the implementation is a bit more complex. This is, again, something that Bullock will generate for you. Um, here we can see the introduction of a modifier. The modifier is, is basically just to give you an indication that when you're looking at this particular test function, um, you know that the value has to be less, uh, uh, not less than 100 um, uh, at, at that point of the uh, test writing um, phase. Okay, cool. Uh, and then the other command that I have with Bullock is check. Um, so after you wrote your first tree file, maybe you introduce a change and you want to continuously potentially maybe use this in like a CI environment, um, you can use the check command and that will uh, continuously check that the function names match the tree um, and, and you know, it's a useful uh, tool to have. And then the question comes, okay, when do you use given, when do you use when? Honestly, it doesn't really matter as long as you have some kind of structure, but some heuristics we, we have proposed are, is it a contract state? Then you use given. Is it a mode of execution, call versus delegate call? Then that's something in the user's control, so use when. Um, is it a function parameter? Then definitely when. Um, the benefits of BTT um, are, I mean, plain English, we can teach this to you know, any junior developer. Uh, easy to learn and teach. Uh, doubles as a test structuring approach. Uh, leads to high test coveraging. So for example, there's a project called CreateX, um, recently um, uh, uh, announced last week, I think, or like two weeks ago. They have achieved 100% test coverage and they have credited BTT as helping them uh, achieve that uh, high test coverage. Um, it can be shared with non-technical team members. As I've said, we use this at Sabler, we use this with, uh, like share it with our front-end team to build our um, like forms that interact with our smart contracts. And it's automatable with Bullock. You don't have to use Bullock, but you know I highly recommend doing so. Uh, feature development. Uh, this technique was basically just invented six months ago. Uh, so work in progress. Feedback welcome. Um, we, we want to build a documentation website. Refine the spec. Maybe use internal functions instead of modifiers. Um, then the question is: I mean, so far we've only applied it to unit and integration tests not for invariant, maybe, maybe we need to like, think more about how we can apply it to invariants. Uh, and in, in, in the future, maybe we, we can even integrate a GPT tool to um, like write the actual tests based on the tree files, which is a pretty exciting you know, um, potential future. And uh, I will end with this slightly cheeky meme um, because I've, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of projects um, switching to BTT in their Solidity um, code base. Uh, and you know, like really, the advantages. It's like super simple to to like teach and learn, and it gives you maybe you know half most of the benefits that the other frameworks are giving you. Um, so give it a shot. Uh, you know, let me know what you think about it, how we can improve it, and you know, thank you for coming to my talk. <laughs>